something? You know what I should do? I should play someone like you. Remember when, when oh Megan God. dumped me and we oh played so, someone like you on free key? <laughs> and I would dance around and sing and be so sad. <laughs> Every time I, I hear like it, I still, I, still think of, I still think about that class. <laughs> it was only in there because Savannah loved it too. Remember Savannah? She's gone, right? Miss Sydney? Yeah. So, it seems we've got the, the right answer for the discriminant on number one. Don't forget to tell me how many roots it has. It's positive, it has two real roots. Can you all still talk to Libby? Yeah. No, I haven't Where talked to him. I haven't talked to him since he left back from Maine. I talked to him until he left. I talked to him until he left too. Yeah. Did you know? Do you know? You well, we know? I haven't talked to him. He hadn't called me. Oh boy, told me. Well, he me. I told him I wouldn't talk to him. He likes boys. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> he told me he wouldn't talk to me again if. He likes I mean, boys. I wouldn't talk to him again if he left. Stop. He wouldn't. I would talk to him again. Like, yes, it's true. Yeah, um, he, told me, he told me he would call me before he left, but he didn't. And I he told like, me he would see me before he left, like, and he didn't. I was so like, I don't Jared, call I'm going to beat you Why would you not call him, though? Because he had called me. Oh, when he called me, I called him all the time on Facebook. He is awesome. I didn't hear you. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, it's because he told me that he knew a fabulous story. When somebody came in this class. I don't know Man, that would be funny too. See, I, I wasn't there when y'all read his diary. I didn't even know he had a diary or something. All right, <laughs> who got what for number one? What'd you get for number one, sweet? Um, I got four. Um, uh, two real roots. You got four, which means there's two real roots. Yeah. Thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs down if you disagree. I'm three, two, one. Show me. Yeah, no, I didn't Show me. I didn't get four. Show me the thumbs and thumbs. Y'all disagree for him. Over here. Alright, let's do it. What's what's A? It's um one. One. A's one. Four game two. What's B? Four. Four. What's C? Three. So I got four squared, which is sixteen. Sixteen minus four times one times three. Four times one is minus four? B squared minus 4AC, right? 4 times 1 is? It's minus 4. Times 3 is? 12. 16 minus 12 gives me? 4. 4. 
It's positive, which if you look at your table, means it has two real rows. By the time we get to the exit ticket, you're going to need to know the table. So remember, if it's positive, two real roots. If it's zero, one real root. If it's negative, two real, two imaginary roots. What did you get for number two, Shanique? I didn't know yet. Okay. Right on the formula for it. What? On the formula. Tell me the formula. All right. So your B is. It will be four minus. Tell me what? what? Oh, you tricked me. <laughs> what? B is a four, right? Okay, four. Four. Eight. What? <laughs> you gave me B squared, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so B squared is four because negative two times negative two gives me positive four. Good. And then you put minus four. Yep. And your A is one. Four times one is what? Two? Four times four is what? Ten? Sixteen. Four minus sixteen gives me negative twelve. So, how many roots does that mean I had, and what kind are they, Lucy? For number two. Two imaginary roots. Perfect. How do we know they're imaginary roots? Why does it Why does it turn out to be imaginary with negative twelve? The discriminant we're about to take the square root of. In the quadratic equation, we're about to take the square root of it. Why is negative 12 imaginary root? Can I? Okay. Say it. I'm about to take the square root of it. What's wrong with that? Can you take the square root of a negative number normally? No. We learned that you can take the square root of a negative number if you use what, what constant instead? I. I. So, because we can take the square root of a negative number normally, if, a, if that's negative, we take the square root of it, we're going to have an i, so it's imaginary roots. The last one, what'd you get? What'd you get for that last one, Natalie? Do you agree, John Mark? I... No? What'd you get? I got zero. You got zero? Yeah, I got zero. All right, let's... Sweet. Let's take a quick look at it and see where we think Natalie went wrong or where Natalie got you. That's my favorite. When one person thinks it's one thing and everyone else in the room thinks it's the other, and it's like, oh, what's up? Natalie got it right. And you're all wrong. That's not what's going to happen. <laughs> B squared, negative 2 squared. She already told me it's 4. Minus 4 times 1 times 1. John Mark, you are not a gangster. <laughs> 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 Four times one times one is four, so four minus four is zero. Whoa. Oh, I had negative four because I, I... Oh, because what What, what mistake did you make now? Um, I, when I put negative two squared in the calculator, I got negative four. How else should you put that in the calculator to make it come out right? Why is the calculator your worst enemy? Because of course. Yeah, yeah. If you type this into the calculator, yeah, it sucks in order of operations, that's right. If you type this into the calculator, you're going to get negative 4. If you type this into the calculator, which is really what we wanted, you're going to get positive 4. So if that turned out to be 0, how many roots, Shanta? Um, one real root. One real root. All right. It's because your brain's working hard, that works. That's all that it is. All right. You should sit with either 2 or 3 down and work as far as you can into that detective work. You can talk. The detective work. The detective work. Did the grass copy you okay? Yep. Yep? Oh. Yep. Well, okay. So, take a look at those graphs first. Work with your partners. You can come sit with them if you want. Come on, yeah. Try those. And then listen to this instruction very, very carefully. It's super important. Oh my gosh. Skip all the other stuff until on the back of the paper. Stop. On the back of the paper. Down at the bottom, it says on loose leaf. Those are mad hard. Really, really hard. But I think you can know them. And if you can do those, that means you can do anything. So you're going to do the graphs, and then you're going to skip over to where it says on, on loose leaf. If you don't have loose leaf, I can bring it to you. You only need to turn in one per group to me. Wait, stop. 
So tell me what you're going first and then second. Go to the ground. And then the back. The back part. Oh, that's me? <laughs> yeah, the part that says all loose leaf. Alright, that's all you're working on now. Don't don't waste your time on the rest of the stuff. Why did I go through that? Why, what? Why did I have to go through that? Because I think some people didn't hear me in the first one. Uh, and Delbert has a more commanding voice. Delbert has such a more commanding voice than I do. So have you ever heard Delbert scream? I don't think I have. I don't think he can. Is that a thing that happens? <laughs> I don't think he has room in his body for like you know, Are you in math class? Uh, yeah. Natalie. 
How long have I known you? A, a while. A long time. It was just a question, because I'm double mine. I was asking him if it is.
I only have until the yep. 10. Yep. Okay, you have two more minutes to try this before you try our exit ticket. Guys, this went by way too fast. What? It went too fast for me. I want to spend all of my life. I know I got a Corby to handle next time. Joe Nay started to cry the phone. And I was like, do not do that to me. I cried. Joe Nay came and saw me during first blood. She started to cry. I was like, go away from me. If you cry, you know I'll cry. And that's embarrassing. For one real group, like, say, it's going to discriminate people. So then you want to be square of mouse brace. See, this one was zero. Yeah, exactly. And then what you think you want for imaginary? The exact same. I mean, it's crazy. Turn green. Eight, four hundred. You see how it's like all these things are different. I don't know. I like that. Not everything. It's a little like a huge beard, like a professor. No. I don't know. Hey, you get it? I knew it was more. Oh, what do you want to do? Wait, hold on. This is more. You were twelve. The first time I was down here, yeah. Miss, uh, you know, you might remember Miss Barbara, Sydney's grandma, kicked me out of the teacher's lounge because no students were allowed there. <laughs> no students were allowed in the teacher's lounge, so Miss Barbara kicked me out of the teacher's lounge. So I was wearing like shorts to set up my classroom. All right, get back to your seats in seven seconds. Yeah, I think you're going fast, Alex. I think you run away from me, Paula. What you should do now is tear off that last page of your packet. We can do it the fun way. Everyone on the track? No, no, no. <laughs> tear off that last page. Everything else should go away, and you should take your exit ticket. Five questions. Try number one. I more care about number two through five. Okay. Okay. Take your exit ticket. It's the last page of the packet. That's all. Do them all. Do all of it. Oh my gosh, it's five problems. We got ten minutes. Well, six.
Tell me what the value of this community is. Tell me what it means. Tell me how many roots it means to get out of it. 